Yo, what up? Absolute Diet Sprite. That's what I'm drinking. I want to do a video diary. You know, I teach an acting class at um, Tasha Smith Actors Workshop. Look that up. Tasha Smith Actors Workshop dot com. It's very powerful. It's a very powerful course. One of the exercises that we do in the class called How Do I Feel? It's a stream of consciousness exercise. You ask yourself how you feel and you answer it. How do I feel? I feel tired. Why am I tired? Etc. 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 I just feel like having a video. I just feel like talking. Normally I freestyle. I don't feel like freestyling right now. Excuse me, I just feel like talking. I look like an old ass man on this camera. I'm looking at myself on the camera. I'm very bald. Let's see. Let's see, I'm shining. I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like it. I don't like it. What I want to talk about today, um, how do I feel? I'm a little frustrated right now. Why am I frustrated? I'm frustrated because, well, among many things, one, let's just start with today. Today was, was started off as a very, very good day. Um, I got up early. Well, I taught class last night. Last night class was good. Um, I feel like the communication is getting better. I got home around midnight after talking to one of my students about what I, you know, thought about her and my observations about her. Um, went to sleep, woke up at like 7.38, which is late for me. And I uh, got it together, went to the gym, had a great workout. Um... Left there, had an audition at 4.45 for a, a small budget film. So I went and um, got the sides, um, met with a friend of mine. Um, she helped me. She ran lines with me just so I could hear it. Um, I left there, came home, worked on it some more, jumped in the shower, ironed my clothes. I had a call back for a Taco Bell commercial also with Charles Barkley, so I was excited about that because I hadn't booked the commercial this year, which is really fucking shocking to me because I'm known that's what I do. You know what I mean? That, that, that's, 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 that's money in the bank, so that's, that is fucking with me. If I'm talking about how do I feel, it's fucking with me that I haven't booked this fucking May and I haven't booked a motherfucking commercial yet, okay? It's hurting the bottom line right now. Um, so that being said, <laughs> believe it or not, I went in with a positive attitude. <laughs> um, so I ironed my shit up. I, 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 you know, I was ready. I jumped in the car. I went to the commercial callback. Um, they were sending people in two at a time. And, you know, you see the normal people, like the guys that you typically see that book spots, okay? I enjoy the competition. They're sending people in two at a time, so I had to go in with somebody. And the guy that I went in with, um, his name is Miguel Coleman. Good dude. Solid guy. Stand-up guy. Been knowing him for a while. Um, but to me, it's, it's like a little, it's a little bit of competition. It's a little bit of a challenge. So I go in there, and... I'm sitting there, I'm I'm playing one role, he's playing the other role, then we're going to switch, and he's going to play my role, and I'm going to do his role. So I'm doing my role, and the director's giving me mad notes. Say it like this, do it like that, say it like this, do it like that. And I'm just taking them. Uh, it's like fucking playing tennis. He's serving it up, I'm sending it back. He's serving it up, I'm sending it back. I'm doing my thing. Um, we switch. So, you know, and, and Miguel gave me good energy. I was like, you know, I'm going to return the favor, make sure he gets good energy back. And dude was struggling. And I don't know if it was just the pressure of the moment or he was like kind of basing his shit on what I did. 
But I was like, I'm thoroughly convinced that can't too many people fuck with me when it comes to this acting shit. And I'm not even trying to be cocky. I'm just fucking, like, nigga, I put in the fucking work. You know what? Hold on a second. I'll be right back. Hold on. I'm going to show y'all. I want to show y'all some of my work. You know what? Hold on. I'll be back again. I'm back. Sorry. I probably should have paused it, but I didn't. Um, what was I talking about? Niggas can't fuck with me, man. Because I, I, and it's not, like I said, it's not on some cocky shit. It's not on some old, you know, false bravado. Like, I put in the fucking work, man. I put in the motherfucking work. Like, I teach a class. We subscribe to this book, The Power of the Fucking Actor. The Power of the Actor is by Ivana Chubbick. Twelve Steps. Okay? Then we also do Susan Batson. Truth. Let me get my fingers out the way. Personal Needs and Flaws in the Art of Building Actors and Creating Care. Susan Batson. It's very powerful. Then, on top of that, Howard Fine. Read his book. Broke his shit down. Right? And then I talked to my man, Will Smith. He gave me two more books. Practical Handbook for the Actor. Read that shit in like fucking an hour. And backwards and forwards about technical script reading. So yeah. And this is just a little sample. A little sample of five books that have attributed to my learning process. So I put in the motherfucking work, man. And I'm sorry that I'm getting a little aggressive. Let me take a little sip. Maybe I'll calm down. But that's how I'm feeling right now. I'm like, I'm unsigned fucking hype, man. Like, I'm ready. I'm so fucking ready. I'm ready. If you stay ready, you ain't got to get motherfucking ready. You understand that? You do, you under, do you really understand what that is? I put in the fucking work, man. So then, talking about my day. Sorry, I got a little sidetracked. <laughs> got a little sidetracked. Um, I leave there. The callback was well. I go to the fucking theatrical audition. Um, I, my dumb ass, because, you know, I can be dumb sometimes. I forgot the fucking address to the appointment, and I had an idea, and I thought it was, like, close to where I was at in Santa Monica. Of course, shit is in fucking downtown LA, in the middle of rush hour traffic. So I call my manager, yo, I'm going to be late. What's the fucking address? He gives me the address. And I didn't hear if he said west or east, so I picked east because it was downtown. And at east, it was, like, fucking... Ghost town. So I call him back and I'm like, yo, is it west? Oh, it's west. So I had to drive. Mind you, I'm already like 30 minutes fucking late for the theatrical. I finally show up. LA Television fucking center studios on Bowdry. Fucking downtown. I'm getting a run around from the fucking security. Oh, go over here. Go over there. Go over here. Go over there. Get the fuck out of here. When I went over there one time, my fucking car, after idling for five fucking minutes... Starts sputtering like the fucking fuel pump is going out. So what the fuck, man? I'm like, yo, this day is really taking a fucking turn for the worse. But I'm like, yo, this is what I love to do. I have an opportunity to fucking audition. It's just another obstacle. Let me overcome it. Let me keep pressing forward. I have a need. I have an agenda. I have an objective. All the shit we don't learn in these fucking books right here. Yeah? So, I finally park. I call a fucking mechanic. Yo, my shit is on the brink, man. You just had my truck, man. 
You said you fixed everything. The fucking warranty is expired, man. Now the fucking, you talking about it's a fuel pump. Motherfucker. You just had, why you ain't checked the fucking fuel pump? Check everything when you got my shit, man. Let me scoot a little closer. What the fuck? All right, you know what? Hang up. Um, let me get focused. Right? Go inside. Luckily, fortunately, the casting people were still there. The director was still there. The producer was still there. They were kind enough to fucking stay. Let me get my shit together. Let me go change because I was wearing this shit. I need to put on a suit. They said, don't worry about it. Just put the shirt and the, and the jacket on because we're going in tight. I said, okay, thank you. Let me get my mind right. I get my mind right and I begin the audition. And I wasn't totally dropped in, if I'm going to be honest. I'm not going to say I had actor moments, but I wasn't all the way dropped in based on my fucking previous circumstance, which was getting the fucking run around, which I was trying to use that energy in the audition. When I was done, they said it was good, but, you know, how many times they said it was good? Oh, it was great, you know, but do they really mean it? So I was, I, you know, I was like, hey, you want me to do it a different way? No, you know what? It was solid. It was good. I was like, okay, I, you know, I had to take it. For what it was worth. Take it at face value. I walked out of there, I got in my car, and I was just like, what the fuck just happened in the last fucking two hours? Some bullshit. But that's life, man. Life is going to serve you up good and bad, man. That's just what it is. All I'm, my, my job is to overcome. Overcome the fucking obstacles, man. I don't even know if any of this shit made any fucking sense. We're going on 11 fucking minutes on this goddamn video. But I just want y'all to know that I put in the fucking work. It's my video diary. And maybe I'm just talking to myself right now. But I put in the fucking work, man. I'd love to do this shit, man. Only time I fucking feel alive is when I'm in the front of the goddamn camera, man. I don't even know what to say. How do I feel? How do I feel? Sometimes I feel lonely, man. feel real fucking lonely. I'm by myself a lot. I'm by myself a lot. And I like it. I wish I had somebody. I wish I had a fucking family, man. Some kids. But I, it's hard for me because I can't meet a fucking woman that halfway has a fucking head screwed on right. I'm doing all this fucking... Re I ain't even... This is just the acting books that I show you. I ain't show you all the other fucking thousand goddamn books that I've read. Trying to be better. Trying to get my communication better. Trying to work shit out. Work my issues out so I can fucking meet somebody. And be on a level playing field with them. It's hard, man. And I'm from Los Angeles. I'm from fucking Inglewood, the city of champions. I love my city to death. Inglewood family. Let me put that up in there. Let me put that up in there. It's the F, nigga. Shout out to the Avenue players, nigga. Raymond, Wayne, B Bird. Shout out. Boogie Down Brandon. Shout out. I'm just like Ant, my bad dog. Shout out. Rabbit Al, fuck you, nigga, you fucking snitch. You bitch-ass nigga, fuck you. Sorry, got a little sidetrack. I'm back. I'm just like, man, I want to meet somebody, man. Fuck, does it have to be fuck? Like, does it have to be that difficult? I'm not your daddy. I'm not your fucking ex-boyfriend. I didn't fucking do that to you, man. Stop persecuting me for what them other niggas did to you. Get a fucking clue, man. You want me to apologize? I am sorry from the bottom of my fucking heart for what them other niggas did to you. I wish I could just apologize for what I did to you. I'm sorry for what them other niggas did to you. Because they motherfucking asses didn't know how to communicate, hadn't dealt with the issues, and you hooked up with them. Now I'm meeting you after the fact, and I'm, I'm paying for them motherfuckers' mistakes. I'm sorry. But 
fuck, man. I'm so goddamn lonely because of it. And then on top of that, you you add into my shit, my issues that there are obstacles that I try to overcome. Fear of abandonment, fear of commitment because my dad fucking used to play the fucking in and out game. My brother was gone, fucking went to jail 15 fucking years at a time where I needed my dad and my brother the fucking most, man. I live a lonely fucking existence, man. And yeah, you know what? The occasional episode fulfills a certain need. But it's fucking at the end of the day, shit is fucking empty. I checked the fuck out. I had a friend of mine that tell she told me, she said, man, you have an uncanny ability to disconnect. I gotta agree with her. It's protection. It's protection. Because I don't want to be hurt, man. I have a fucking armor, a fucking wall built up because I do not want to be hurt anymore by anybody. I'm not going to give you the fucking chance to hurt me. But the flip side of that is, then how do you ever get with somebody? Because you have to fucking be vulnerable. You have to be willing to have your heart drug through the fucking mud to actually be with somebody. It's just not enough time. This lifetime is not enough time to figure all this shit out. It's too much, man. We have to come back. I believe we live multiple lives because there's no way 60, 70 fucking years that you figure everything out, man. It's not fucking humanly possible. We're only using 3% of our brain capacity. We're only using 3%. Like if we were using 5%, we might be able to fucking fly. Think about that. It's not enough time. How do I feel? 